What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about a video game movie. Video game movies, man, they're just usually not good. Yeah. We don't have a good track record, do we? Now, before going into this review of Uncharted, I'm obviously going to tell you that I'm a huge fan of the games from Naughty Dog. I loved all four of those games. I think they're super fun. I think the character work, the story, the action set pieces of each and every game was just bar none spectacular. And I was really excited to see this game finally get brought to the silver screen. However, you know, this movie has been in development hell for so long. It's gone through a wide variety of hands. And now we have an Uncharted movie that stars Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Victor Sully Sullivan. And yeah, I wasn't really thrilled about that casting or really just the trailers for this movie. So it was safe to say I went in with low, 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 low expectations. And in general, I think that this Uncharted movie is pretty much what I expected. It's mediocre, it's forgettable, it's generic, and I hate saying the word generic because the Uncharted games are not generic. They're anything but, you know, they they were groundbreaking games, and even to this day, they still hold up. They're so damn good, and honestly, those games are better than most movies. I mean, those are the kind of games where there's cutscenes where you actually have to be involved and play them, and you forget to take the controller because of how cinematic everything feels and looks. So to say that this live-action adaptation is generic hurts my heart. It hurts my soul. It makes me die just a little bit more inside. <laughs> I mean, the movie is not without its merits. Before I really head into Negative Town here, well, let me just talk about the performances here because I feel like I touched on that a little bit with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland, and I want to talk about that just a little bit more. Tom Holland, super talented actor. He is versatile. He's you know played a wide variety of roles. He's a great, great actor, and I just feel like he was completely miscast here as Nathan Drake. And you can tell, though, he still has an affinity for this character. He's giving it his all. His physicality in the action sequences is fantastic. He's, you know, dialing up his charm to 11. You know, he's really kind of breathing life into this really lackluster, mediocre script, and he's doing the best he can with what he's given, and I think for what he's given, he does a damn good job. It's just he never, like I said, feels like Nathan Drake, and that's a huge problem for someone who, like, you know, like me, who's a big fan of the games and wants to see one of their favorite characters come to life and isn't really getting it. I mean, I think people who haven't played the games, haven't seen them, haven't, you know, played them, I think that they'll probably enjoy this movie a lot more than people who have played the games and have such a love and affinity for those characters and those stories. I mean, I saw this movie with a couple people who had never played the games or very minimally so and they actually enjoyed the movie because they weren't so attached to the characters or the story or the way things should look and feel and that's fine i'm glad they had a good time i pretty much did not and mark Wahlberg, i mean <laughs> i don't remember the last time i saw mark Wahlberg not playing mark Wahlberg. i mean the guy is kind of on this like ambient infused autopilot in this movie it's like even during the action sequences he's just kind of like oh wow oh my god like all of his reactions seem kind of delayed he seems uninterested he doesn't have much chemistry with tom holland that really feels forced and that also huge problem because the chemistry and the dynamic between nate and sully in the games is such an integral part of those games and one of the best parts of those games and the fact that that fails here is a huge disservice to fans and it was super disappointing and you have a supporting cast that for the most part pretty bland pretty forgettable i mean can we stop wasting Antonio Banderas in these generic, bland, two-dimensional villain roles where he gets to do nothing, like, at all. I mean, he gets to kind of look menacing, and you can tell he's kind of having a little bit of fun playing these characters, but he has, like, nothing to do. I mean, the Hitman's wife's bodyguard, he's playing, like, the same person, basically, just in different clothing, and it's just, it's disappointing. Antonio Banderas is a great actor. Stop wasting the guy. Can my voice go any higher? I don't know. Now, as for the movie itself, it is directed by Ruben Fleischer, you know, the guy who, you know, did Zombieland and Gangster Squad and 30 Minutes or Less and Venom. You know, he's kind of bounced around. He's kind of been this like genre chameleon. And I was interested to see what he would do with this material, because even though as of late, Fleischer really hasn't shown the kind of, you know, visual uh, creativity that I've wanted from him, I still think he's capable of it. I mean, those first couple features he made, Zombieland and 30 Minutes or Less, really showed a director that was exciting and had a really interesting visual dynamic at play, you know, in all of his movies. And, you know, he had his own distinct style. But then with each subsequent movie he's made, he's just kind of lost it. And he's kind of become this pretty bland director where when someone tells me that he directed a movie, I'm like, oh, I just kind of feels like anyone could have directed that. And I hate that. And unfortunately, that's still the case here. I mean, aside from a couple really fun set pieces, there's there's like one that takes place in a bar that's really well done, really fun. And there's this really great swashbuckling, you know, action set piece in the third act that is like everything I wanted from a live action Uncharted movie that really taps into, you know, the over the top zany swashbuckling vibe of the games. And I was like, where was this the entire time? And now that we're finally getting it, the movie's about to end. What? the fuck. But for the most part, the action sequences in this movie, they're edited to shit. They're not really well filmed. They're just bland. They're super forgettable. And it's just, the, if there's one thing about the Uncharted games that 
is not forgettable. It is the action set pieces, especially in Uncharted 4, that long extended chase sequence that they actually wanted to do for this movie, but just didn't have the budget or the time to do it. I mean, the action set pieces need to be good. They need to be impressive. They need to be immersive. And they just did not deliver the goods for me here. Not to mention some of the special effects are woof. Bad, bad, bad woof. And some of the other problems the movie has, I do think that the pacing is kind of all over the place. You know, it, it, it kind of just like hits the ground running and it's really fast paced. And then there are other times where it just kind of struggles to, you know, uh, maintain that momentum and then it hits a sluggish pace and then it tries to hit the gas again. And it just kind of feels very like stop and go, like you're stuck in traffic, <laughs> that kind of thing. And then all of a sudden there's like a little stretch of like, oh my God, I think the traffic's over. And then... And I do like the fact that they did touch on the whole Nate Sam dynamic, you know, the the brother to brother dynamic. That's a really big part of the games. I'm glad that they touched on that, but I wish that they fleshed that out a little bit more. But, you know, Holland, I think, sells that way more than is on the page. Let's put it that way. But yeah, that's really all I can say about this one. It's pretty much what I expected. It's a lackluster adaptation of an amazing game series that I think will leave fans wanting a lot more in a bad way. I think a lot of fans of the games aren't going to be too happy with this one, even though there are some people who have played the games who did find some enjoyment in it. I don't think this movie is with out its fun there like i said there are a couple action sequences that are actually really fun and tap into what i loved about the games and i do think that tom holland even though i don't think he really is nathan drake i think that he's giving it his all and he has enough charm to keep this movie afloat especially when it really starts to just drown but all in all it's just not the adaptation i wanted of these games i think this franchise deserves a lot better and if they do make a sequel you know i'm hoping that maybe they can tap into more of what made those games so great and so special and so time tested um and just make something that's a lot better than this first installment here but you know that's just my take and i'm curious to hear what yours is so in the end i'm going to be giving uncharted i'm going to be giving this movie two and a half out of five stars it's not a terrible movie by any means but as someone who is a huge fan of the games i was really let down by this adaptation there's so much potential to these games for the silver screen um and i just feel like they're not that potential is not being followed through on and it, like i said if there is a sequel i hope that it is so that is my review of uncharted really hope you enjoyed it really hope you take it into consideration if you consider watching this one or not let me know what you thought of this movie in the comment section below did you love it did you hate it did you fall middle of the road on it let me know in the comment section below comments always help the old algorithm so definitely leave something down there even if if, if it's like you know goo goo gaga i like uncharted <laughs> Just leave something. I don't know. Have, have fun with it. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You know, I uh, always appreciate your support. You know, it always helps the algorithm when you give a good old thumbs up. And if you if you subscribe to the channel, always appreciative of that. Appreciate any support you throw my way. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm going to put my social media handles at the bottom of the screen and they'll be in the description of this video as well. And if you haven't done so already, please check out my two new film podcasts. We've got Film on Tap, where I get together with my movie buddies. We talk about all things movies, trailers, news, all sorts of things super fun and also we have real roots where i get together with my sister and we talk about the movies that shaped our childhoods and the people we are today also really fun links to both of those in the description as well and until next time everybody i'm tom chattelbash youtube's most reliable movie critic